morning everybody it is another one where i'm kind of pushing my my issue but oh well it's sunday there's no real real rush damn the flash didn't come on oh well so i use the back camera been using the back camera a lot more on the iphone again um mainly because that whole microphone situation and i might be trying to figure out how to put one of those little <coughs> dead cat wind muff sticky on things that I have on the Sony on the iPhone but there's <laughs> the problem is and I don't use this one much as a phone so it doesn't matter too bad but there's one over the earpiece there's one over the bottom but I might just just see if it help just see if it help maybe find a I had that clear case that's you know a Walmart five seven dollar case whatever it was five dollars anywho oh watching uh started watching lucifer last night since uh he, that came back out and uh kind of got caught in that until about 11 o'clock edited and then started watching a, a, episode 12 because they split the 16 episode season into two eight part um deals but lights would be good kurt I'm not used to turning all this stuff off so yeah Kind of kept me up a little later than I should have been. I think I got to bed just before midnight. But I slept last night. It wasn't like the night before where Mateo was bugging me. And it was all because that stupid little beeping on the smoke detector kept going off. It freaked him out. It must have just, uh, you know. Priya didn't seem to get minded because her big droopy ears. But Mateo's ears, they're kind of open. So I'm sure it was bugging him. Don't know what I'm up against this morning. Um, it's so hard to see who's coming in and whatnot um i know we do have a nine to six coming in i have an eight to five coming in um i think I had someone in self-checkout don't know if i have anybody on red main register but on a sunday morning usually it doesn't really matter now we're supposed to go in the front door now and honestly i don't know what door we're supposed to go in and whether it's going to be unlocked for me to get in i'm not concerned with that and I'm not getting out of here quite on time. I got to left the house 42. So. After work, uh, we'll have to wait and see what the weather decides to play out. If it got just a little bit sunny at 55 degrees, it probably wouldn't be too bad to take the dogs to the park for a little walk. Not going to need it. I looked at my exercise last night, and I needed exactly four miles to complete this challenge. And I got all day today and tomorrow. So without taking a walk except after work with the dogs that one time I ended up with 9.9 .9 miles yesterday running around at Walmart so not too worried about that challenge getting completed in fact I'll have a full extra day uh -huh. anything else don't think so alright guys don't know when I'll I don't even know when I'm going to get lunch I, I, I'm concerned that the closer because we actually brought the team lead that went to electronics back up front for this weekend and he didn't show up Friday and yesterday was off and he's supposed to close tonight so we shall see he doesn't show up I'm leaving at three o'clock regardless all right we are 126 in the afternoon 118 I punch up for lunch I'm going for a cup of coffee not really hungry I had like triscuits and spinach dip I don't know 9 30 ish let's wait till I get home don't know what I'm getting into. It's, it's not supposed to be a rainy day, and it's been raining on and off throughout most of the day. So I don't think the dogs and I are going to leave the house when I get home. You know, leave the property. We'll probably just end up going to uh, taking laps around there. I already got my challenge. Challenge for the month is done. Before I uh, went to lunch, I had 5.8 miles already. So don't need to push myself get back and I won't have a lot of time left I'm, I was thinking about taking a half hour but you know what I'm, I'm so over this <laughs> so I'm gonna get myself a quick cup of coffee it hasn't been I mean I've had personnel more than some Sundays because we we had some cashiers that volunteered to work today and changed their shifts so it made things work much smoother through the rain yeah not a rainy day it's it's a rainy day as well 
I bit the bullet. ZV1, we're gonna give it a test for a day or two here, or maybe longer, I don't know, but the battery just went way down. This is, I don't even know what mode this is in. It's not in superior auto or anything. I haven't really gotten into the settings yet. I just literally turned it on and uh, hit record real quick. Nice that it does have a record light. Um, kind of can hold it, I guess. I don't know, you wouldn't hold it. Well, maybe I guess you can. You can kind of log with it like normal. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. But uh, this is the internal microphones. I think I have the uh, road with me, but with this rain, it is not water resistant, so it won't go outside if it's raining today. But uh, now it's uh, two o'clock. I got 19 minutes left on lunch. Time to head back. But uh, I don't know. I just been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Finally, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just try it and see what happens. All right, well, I got it plugged in to the car. It's not going to give me a lot of juice right now because it's only a few minute trip back. Back to the iPhone we go because I'm going to let it charge up a little bit. I don't know. I went with the... I went with the vlogger kit because obviously then you get the handle, you got a memory card with it. Um, the handle itself, the, the vlogger kit, I think separate is $149. It drops it down to $100, and the camera right now has $100 savings off of it. So, in all, you save $150 right now, Memorial Day weekend. I noticed it on Sony's website when I was looking to see what was new coming out. Because eventually they're going to release another one of these. I, I That one camera guy might be right. They may not release another RX series. That series might be done. The RX 100 series. That might be done. They've done as much as they can to it, in their opinion, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what stabilization looks like. The nice thing about it is, if I decide not to use a microphone and just go with internal audio, which I know is not the best, but I have am learning a lot of tricks with making the audio better. This thing does have a cold shoe mount with a dead cat that slides into it over the microphone, and the microphone of this thing is massive. I'll show you it all later, but yeah, it's uh, I don't know. Honestly, the RX100 sounded better in the videos I've seen, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let's see if this looks any better. NDR, ND filter is now on. I can't put on auto because I don't know what mode I have to have on the uh, priority, on the aperture crap. i got to figure that out. It doesn't tell you, it just says it doesn't work in this mode. It doesn't tell you what mode it does work in. That's really friendly. So The eye focus is on and working. Um, right now we are in movie mode. 4K 30, 100 megabytes per second. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's definitely holdable this way. Of course, the screen doesn't flip up. It flips out. So that's something different. Oh, crap. I got to go back. Okay, I think I've uh, decided to go put the battery in this car just to see if that doesn't help. Even though everybody else keeps telling me the other battery is good. The only problem is if this uh, new battery and it still goes dead, then I'm going to not have my old battery because I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to turn it in for my core fee. Um, I won't be able to get it back and I'll have wasted 200 and whatever dollars on the battery. Unless I just hold on to it, find out if, you know, the other battery runs the car before I trade it in. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But it, it's uh, just starting. Just starting every time today since lunch so speaking of batteries I should probably plug this bad little boy in not a bad looking little camera um it's about the same it's pretty much the same size the RX100 just that screen flips out the different way it flips out this way uh, okay you don't look now you have your turn signal on good we're gonna get a red light and plug it in but uh I think I got everything set up the way I want it except for the NDR filter what I was saying is the ND filter um, you can't put it in auto in the mode I have it in and the mode it came in is what it is in right now and it doesn't let me put it in there so I don't know what aperture mode you need to put that in you can't even turn it on unless you're in movie and you don't have the turn dial to switch it out of the mode you got to go into the settings it's a few little things that are a little goofy with it I think it has a I'm not sure if this one I, I'm not even sure how you take pictures with this one. Oh, there's a shutter button I wonder if the shutter button, like the other one, is basically turns into the movie button as well when it's in movie. Like the RX100. 
but this one has a dedicated, well, they both have a dedicated report cord button. I don't know. This one's just a lot bigger. All right. God. Really hoping to kill that, that the car would be charged up and run, but I'm going to have them test it again quick, even though it's raining outside again, quite hard now. Um, before I turn it in, maybe I'll just hold on it, put it in the trunk and have it just in case that doesn't fix it. And then I can maybe, I don't know if I can return it. Let's wait and see. Um, so I came down to advance. <laughs> the guy gives me a little bit of an attitude about putting the battery in. I said, just cancel it then, because he sure the hell did. Canceled it. Then he says, well, do you want me to cancel it or put the battery in? I said, well, I mean, I need it. And basically just gave me a $250 battery and... I don't know. I'm going to have to call someone else about this. This is not right. I mean, hopefully my car runs now. Didn't want to start the first time. Second time it fired up. Just going to leave it running for a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, businesses are, uh, I know everybody's kind of, I, I, I apologize that it's a rainy day. I mean, I'm sorry. I can't control mother nature. But just to be like, oh, I'm not going to do it in this pouring rain. Uh, <laughs> okay, then, yeah. I don't feel right. I don't feel right, you know, basically stealing a battery wasn't the, the concept. All right, home sweet home, and I got them both. Princess is being twerp and not going potty. Come on, go potty. Come here, go potty. So we're going back in the house. It's raining. God forbid we'd get wet. I want to be like advanced auto guy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, finally getting this thing tested out. Right now I am checking out with the um, low light situation here with this camera. Um, I can't remember if it was supposed to be better or worse because this does have a little bit different uh, lens configuration. This is a f1.8 versus the RX100 series is a, like an f2.8 or 2.4. I think it's 2.8. So one thing I do want to get is... I believe my light kit is actually outside in the shed. I want to get that quick. I'm going to be going out in the dead dead dark here because I don't have light on at the moment. And voila, lights on. I'm going to turn the lights on out here too because I had the car charge and that night I turned everything off. It's been a while, obviously. It is uh, like... Well, my watches are in... Well, this watch... It's 11.55. <laughs> I do apologize. I, ah, sorry, that was probably really noisy. I have been watching Lucifer, and I am already done with Lucifer. I already watched the whole thing. So, um, there was a couple episodes there in the middle of it that I uh, wasn't real impressed with. Um, and I don't know that it really helped this season. They could have done a lot more with some other things, but it is what it is. I don't create TV shows, so whatever. Okay, where in the world is Carbon San Diego? No, where in the world is my most of my vlogging stuff here? Give me a second here. Yeah, this this is the disaster I'm dealing with. Um, this duffel bag is full of crap. This box was my water box, but it's also full of stuff. This is all the crap I took out of my car. I'm hoping that one of these days. Package this bag. Let's take it back. There's the other one of you, the controller, and all that quick release stuff, which I don't have on this one. Um, which I won't need all this stuff because this has a cold chain on it. All right, hopefully I'm in lens, but there it is the Joby Light with a little cold shoe mount on the bottom. Obviously, this camera is not a cold shoe mount, this is actually a hot shoe mount. Okay, we have a light now. And that's probably a lot better, right? Okay, the only problem with that flip-out screen is I'm always going to be looking to the right side of the camera. It's the one thing I think is going to be kind of problematic with this thing. But uh, just got to kind of focus, make sure, just kind of do little little glimpses of my eye over there. Well, that's got to look a lot better with that light on there. And honestly, <laughs> much more convenient than um, the RX100 setup. With all that extra crap, it just makes it 
too cumbersome. I didn't bring the other controller in. The reason I went with the controller is because you can only connect them to one device at a time. You cannot connect them to multiple cameras. Um, so it's, it's kind of problematic. It'd be interesting to see the different lighting. I didn't really see too much footage yet. Now, N, the ND filter is on right now. Like I was mentioning earlier, I cannot put it in auto with the um, aperture setting as I'm using. And like I said, I don't know what, unless I can turn that off, which I really don't want to do. So, kind of curious on how the audio is going to sound with this. Now, the one thing I can put on here, which I think, yes I do, I do have the, ah, ah, I'm connected to everything. I do have the split road. I think that'll fit with the remote, it won't matter. I can fit this on top and put the wired, the video go on there and the light. <clears throat> so let's do a real quick test with uh, that little setup and see how uh, audio sounds. Okay, so now we have, ooh, that audio bar is really spiking. I have the audio right now set at 24, I believe, which is where I normally run the RX100. Um, I'm not gonna talk real loud because the voice is gonna peak really bad. I don't see any red lines on the on the sound bar, but um, I really didn't find the cable I was looking for because the video micro actually came with a flat, or no, 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 no. The Wireless Go 2 came with a flat cable. Um, it doesn't have the spring load in it, which actually I think this might work just a little bit better. Real quick here, like I normally do, I'll give you guys a mirror shot of yourselves. So right now there's what we look like. So you got your little microphone and your, and your Joby light, and you're mounted right to the top of the camera in the hot shoe mount. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty compact and convenient, really. And you got your screen that flips out, so eh, doesn't look too bad. But there they are side by side. This is a much heavier camera. RX100 is mostly metal, whereas the uh, ZV1 is plastic. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, tomorrow, if the weather is dry, we'll give this camera a test. I don't know if we're going to do any comparison to this, mainly because of the setting up portion of it. The concept of this is. It makes it easier, more convenient to throw a microphone on it because it has its own shoe mount, even though it is a hot shoe mount. So you can get like one of the Sony, like I said, it was like a $319 microphone you can get for this thing, shotgun mic. No. <laughs> so, all right guys, thanks for watching. See you in the morning, good night.